What's up, y'all? Today, I'm going to be trying out this Chicago-style deep dish frozen pizza that I found yesterday for like six bucks. Super cheap. Also, it's designed to be cooked in the microwave, so you can cook this whole thing in about six minutes. Super quick, super easy. And, you know, I've never had a frozen pizza that the, the go-to option was to cook it in the microwave. So even like the packaging and everything is microwave safe. Usually, you're popping it in an oven or a pizzazz. And uh, it's probably, it would probably be better that way. I don't have high expectations for this, but I just, yeah, I'm, I'm interested to see how it'll turn out. If there's any semblance of a crisp on that crust, my mind will be blown. Um, as you can see, it is about 959 calories and it's looking decent. Like that picture is not looking too bad. Uh, the reviews were kind of mixed on it, but let's take this out of the box and see what we're working with. Okay, yeah, not too bad right there. Um, it's looking like a mini Chicago style pizza and the crust isn't like abnormally thick and puffy like I see a lot of people trying to do Chicago style pizza but they don't know how. I'm hoping this will be better than I think it will be. So to cook this thing, you have to put it on the defrost setting for two to three minutes, I think. No, three minutes. And then take it out, poke a couple holes in that top cellophane, and then put it back in for another three minutes. So, uh, like I said, pretty quick. I'll catch you when it's all cooked. All right, all right, all right. I hear something going on in there. It's smelling like a pizza. Let's take a look at this. Oh, okay. Look at that. Ah, it's really hot. Um, definitely not crispy, but it seems like it has some kind of potential. Uh, it did say on the box that if you want to, you can cook this in the oven. Let's cut this open and see if we can get any kind of cheese pull action. Okay. Uh, hopefully I cooked it long enough. I'm not sure if I did. Um, we're getting no cheese pull action. And the bottom, I'm not sure if that's supposed to cook more, if you cook it longer in the microwave. It isn't cold, but it's not that hot right here. Uh, on the outside it is. So maybe I should have cooked it longer. That might be a fail on my part. Should I put throw it back in there for a minute? I'm gonna throw it back in there for a minute. I'll tell you what, either the directions on these products are getting worse and worse, or my, my appliances are just out of date. To be fair, this was a hand-me-down microwave from my boy Ken, who moved out of Korea like eight years ago, so. All right, y'all, let's just go in for a slice and see how it is. Still not getting any cheese pulled, but I'm sure it's melted. Supposedly they're using 100% real cheese. I don't know, I'll be the judge of that. Oh yeah, I mean, not looking too bad. No expectations going in. Yo. This ain't half bad. Wow.
Yo. Oh. Um, this surprised me a little bit because for one, the price, it was super cheap. And it was, just, I don't know what brand it is, but some random brand, I think. Uh, the fact that it was in the microwave um, and it, it doesn't feel that nice. So my expectations were actually kind of negative. Maybe that has something to do with uh, how I'm finding this pizza, but I'm finding it to be really decent. Especially the cheese. Mm. I will say it does taste like good quality cheese. So the box ain't a lie. Uh, the sauce, it's not bad. I, it kind of looks pretty bad, at least to my eye. It does look a little bit like jammy, if that makes sense. But it's not bad at all. The crust, this is where it can get a little bit weird because there's no crisp to it whatsoever. As I expected, as you would expect cooking in the microwave, but I feel like if I cook this in the oven, this actually has decent potential. Again, like I said, for the price, six bucks. So I would add a couple things to this, a dusting of parm on top, something like that, or some kind of like hard grated cheese like that and also some toppings, or in this case, bottoms options. Uh, they did have some bogus options like bulgogi and I, I don't know, like potato or something, but I just wanted to keep it simple with the cheese, but give me a solid plain pepperoni or like sausage. And I think I would be getting this like a decent amount, no, no joke. As it stands, I think I will actually buy this again and try it in the oven, just on my own time. Just, uh, I, I am curious about it. If you can improve this crust just a little bit, maybe add my own pepperonis or my own uh, cheese on top. And then you could really be honest with them. The cheese does solidify pretty quickly. But I'll tell you what, overall flavor wise, it tastes good to me. And I'm comparing that with Chicago style pizza I've had recently over the past few years living here in Korea. This is almost better than the stuff you can get at restaurants. Flavor wise. Because they don't know how to do it here. Hmm. Definitely not mind blowingly good. But when you're curving deep dish at like 2 a.m., it's perfect. So, yeah, uh, that's it for this video. I actually enjoyed that. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.